Aries, you guys, were right there. So I'm like, let me do you guys, Aries. So this is going to be a reading for Mercury Retrograde. Let's just see what Mercury Retrograde got to bring for you guys. All right, somebody's going to let their thoughts out, okay? They've been holding their thoughts in for way too long, and they're going to speak their mind. That's what this is saying with the thoughts in reverse. But as I hop into this reading fully, Aries, please keep in mind that the roles in this reading can and will be reversed. For some of you guys, I could be saying you, it could be them, I could be saying he, it could be a she. Flip-flop the roles according to your own situation. You be your own leader of discernment when it comes to this reading. You pick and choose what fits and what does not fit. Remember, it's a general reading. It's not a private reading. So, again, do not do not embody a reading that's not yours. If a part of the reading does not resonate, leave it. Check your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs or any other sign in your birth chart. You know, in the reading that I post that has a title that sticks out or resonates with you, it's possibly a message in that reading for you. Once again, take what fits in this reading and leave the rest, all right? The reading will not resonate with everybody the same. Remember that. So somebody is getting some thoughts off their mind. And because of that, there's a raise or a promotion that is coming about. <laughs> Congratulations. An increase in your in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. So there is some type of reward coming to somebody for speaking up and letting something off their mind. Okay? You're going to get rewarded because of that. Somebody don't even know that was the reason why they was getting held back. Because they wasn't speaking their mind. They wasn't being honest with themselves. Maybe that's what spirit wanted you to do, to take action. And you finally are saying something or speaking up or doing something because you're about to get rewarded. What's going on, my Aries? Six of Pentacles in reverse because there's somebody that's holding back. Somebody was not, was holding back or was being selfish. The, the Emperor in reverse, it became burdensome, this new job, or did somebody feel like they wasn't getting the help that they was, they, they was supposed to be getting? Um, you could have been dealing with a shiesty boss. Somebody could have been abusing their power with their authority. It could have been a lot of spell work being done on somebody to make them be selfish and not give, not be equal. But something is coming out or getting released. It was a lot of illusions on why somebody was being selfish and holding back withdrawing their energy not sharing some type of information resources we got the sun something's gonna get exposed could be dealing with a leo um how does this go this is sideways so somebody's somewhat stressed out but but at the same time they're releasing these burdens because they got too heavy somebody could have been going through some mental issues or some health issues a health scare as well Someone could even been calling somebody crazy and insane, but somebody was a hard worker. Somebody's working very, very, very hard to the point that they're mentally going through it because they're working so fucking hard. Maybe somebody didn't realize that when they came to somebody or a situation. Somebody was like trying to work somebody to fucking death. Wait, what the fuck is this? The moon in reverse. So some secrets is coming out. And when them secrets coming up, somebody's not moving back to time of waters. It might even be a fight, a mental fight with somebody because they know they got to move on. The tower. It's going to be a tower moment. Somebody's stressed the fuck out. Or somebody is either in bad health. Somebody can't balance this situation no more. Somebody is stressed the fuck out because they can't balance this shit no more. There's some unexpected money. Six of cups in reverse. Or somebody's coming up out of the cove. Somebody's holding on to a lot of negative thoughts and memories. We got king of wands and queen of cups. Somebody wants somebody and they're going to go and get this person. But they've been holding back from this person because of like health issues it seems like or somebody's been mentally going through it the more like trying to hold back and resist somebody that they want to share with and they want to come be with somebody wants somebody and it's been fucking them up the more and more they stay away from this person and there's some money involved with somebody but like the relationship yeah ace of cups there's a relationship that's going to involve and it's going to be like it's going to bring in money somebody feels stuck and really don't know how to go towards this person but somehow some way they're gonna get out of this feeling stuck and go towards this person or this situation because somebody real life dealing somebody can help them or somebody's dealing with a boss that's like very controlling overbearing this could even be you guys that was controlling overbearing towards this person or your thoughts was consuming you so much 
and it made somebody do some crazy shit. Let go of control issues. Somebody for sure got control issues. Retreat, religious factors. So it's time to disconnect from the world. All right, it's time to let go of the opinions of everybody else and do what you want to do, do what's best for you. Somebody may need to even go on a vacation to retreat. Religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. For some of you guys, somebody is into something that you don't have good ties with. It's something with your childhood that you've seen somebody do something similar to it and you might have run away from it. That could have been forbidden. They're, you guys are like, religious is a, a, a big reason why you won't go towards this person as well, too. It could be some rumors and gossip and some fears around somebody's religious practices. But you and this person want to be with one another. Or you will be with one another. If somebody speak up. Protect it. Yeah, you're protected. They're protected. Wishful thinking. Somebody's going to get what they want. But somebody's like scared. This could even be dealing with an STD. Somebody could even have an STD. If somebody's scared to let somebody know that. Somebody's gonna be using protection though. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Somebody's like, okay, so why do you can't use protection? Okay, pay attention. This can even be doing with work. There's also an instigator in here. Alright. We got Leo the Sun. It can surely be a Leo in here as well, too. If something's gonna get exposed about a Leo, you may not be speaking to somebody. Alright. Then we got the ambition and time is now. For some of you guys, you want to move towards the Leo, but there's a lot of rumors and gossip going around this Leo. There's an instigator. You assume in a relationship, checking your car, plotting on you. Damn. Isolation spell. Self-care. So somebody could even do spell work on somebody as well, too. There's some type of fraud going on. Somebody calling somebody a fraud. Somebody telling somebody that somebody did spell work on somebody. What the fuck is this? We got an uncle. Cause all over some money. Wow, this is not good though. So somebody is like, is this person an op? This person could be an op of yours, or somebody tried to turn somebody into an op of yours. Yeah, somebody got mental issues. It's a check coming up, but somebody got mental issues. Wow, there's a whole lot of drama going on. Wow, and somebody wants to know. If somebody know that they do care. Bro, what the fuck is going on? Hello? I said hello. It might be a phone call. Somebody might be calling somebody. Why the fuck did I say hello? I be hating that. Forgive and free yourself. Yeah, somebody might be watching somebody. Police activity. Damn, obsessive stalker. Somebody being watched as well, too. Somebody may have not believed somebody. Somebody spiteful. Child is a Virgo. Thieving and stealing, juggling, investigating. But somebody's protected. They set up in robbery, something. Okay. There's a lot going on. Somebody is getting. Somebody feels like they're being stuck and pulled away from somebody. Uh, there's a lot of drama and chaos, but they want this person. Okay. The Virgo in here. Keep cutting the deck on this Virgo. That's very spiteful. It's a mother figure. Or towards a mother figure, but it's time to let it go. Somebody trying to hold somebody back. Don't want them to have something or be a part of something. Yeah, following you. Damn. Check on your car. Abuse. Uh, a father figure. Somebody has an abusive ex-lover or past lover. Alright, Aries. This shit is crazy. Family. Breakup coming. It could be a division within the family. Somebody lying about their sexuality. That could even be coming out. Somebody stalking the fuck out of somebody and watching somebody have sex. Okay, I love you guys so much. Take care. This could be your family or their family, but somebody, you even be somebody that's coming in and to protect somebody and get somebody away from some type of chaos. I don't fucking know what the fuck is going on, but I'm about to go. This is some crazy retrograde shit. Maybe this is all coming out. Act like somebody needs to pay attention to what's really going on. On why it's so somebody's realizing the truth behind some shit. Somebody trying to manipulate some shit. Uh, but somebody got mental issues. Hmm.